Hey, hey there, everybody. How you doing? It's me. It's me. Welcome back. We're back over at the villager breeder at the start of the episode today. We haven't been over at this thing in like so long, I feel. The villagers are just being villagers in here, which is great. And then over here, we actually have a couple villagers overflowing, but not enough. We're going to build a new farm today. And for this farm, we're going to need like a lot of villagers. The more, the better. Up to like 24, actually. So uh, what we're going to do, start this episode doing that. And then the villager can just live here and... I'm sorry. I don't know why I always think to do that. That's, yep. Okay. That never happened, all right? So, today we're going to build a brand new farm. This farm is going to be inside of a building. I was looking around before the episode. I think, honestly, we could probably fit this building in, like, right in here next to the temple behind the snow farm. I think it could look pretty cool from the water, too, like, layers of the building. So, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Look at these trees. They're beautiful. Speaking of beautiful things, I'd like to take a quick moment today, at the beginning of the episode, to say, you're beautiful. And I would appreciate it, like, a lot, if you left a like on the video. It helps YouTube know to send these videos to other people, so then other people can look at this video and say, hey, that's kind of cool. Yep, that's definitely natural. Yeah, absolutely. I've done it. I've made land that looks insanely real. So real that nobody would ever suspect a thing. This is crazy. Last episode, we took on a raid. It was pretty sweet. It was our first raid. Next episode, we're also probably going to take on a raid. We're going to do things a little bit different, but we're going to take on a raid. This episode, we're going to build a farm that has to do with raids. This farm is going to be a hero of the village farm. This farm will get us a ton of free things for... Uh, literally free like, like we will have to do basically nothing and we'll just rake in profit it is gonna be pretty cool before we can do anything with this farm we actually have to build a building because this farm is gonna have villagers and villagers outside at nighttime zombies uh witches yeah you know not exactly good I'm not sure about these high dimensions. Maybe they're good. We'll find out soon enough. The building is going to be long and thin. This build is going to have two entrances, a front entrance and a back entrance. So use the farm. We go in the front and just stand around to actually get more villagers inside of the farm. We go in the back. The farm itself is pretty compact. It's like three blocks wide, maybe five or so blocks long. I'm not too sure, but it's, it's pretty compact. So we can actually easily fit it inside of this build. The farm will cut everything off in the center. So we'll have it like sitting like right here. And uh, yeah, it'll cut it off. Make it like two separate builds. Side of the build, I'm thinking windows. Windows for sure. Windows are amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of walls and a bunch more walls. And then I'm going to need glass panes. I forgot the glass panes. But what we're going to do is stack these things three blocks up in here and then have window, window. This is where the farm is going to be. So we don't really need windows there. Then same thing on the back side, even though we won't use the back very much. We're going to do window, window. And then we're going to do that on both sides over here. We're not going to have very much of a view, to be honest. That's all like jungle. We're actually pretty close to the temple though, and this thing is still a unit. Wouldn't be a build though without me forgetting at least one of the supplies. At least. Oh no, this side is gonna be perfect actually. Check this out. We have the windows right there, the walls right there, and then on top of this stuff where the roof is gonna start, we're gonna do just planks right there. Oh, this is perfect. That's perfect. Okay, cool. I like when that works out like that. That's amazing. Gamers, farm time. We're gonna switch gears. So the build is good. I feel like it's at a spot where we could actually get the farm in, then come back and finish up the build because some of the stuff with the build kind of depends on the farm. So farm supplies. What do you need? This stuff right here. You need a chest, two hoppers, one carpet, a sign, a soul sand block, some fences, something to stop water with like a door or maybe even more signs, building blocks, and then villagers with this thing the more villagers the better honestly but we're gonna start with two building blocks right there i think this positioning should probably be good that's gonna give us a small room up front uh room for the farm and then room for a room back here ho uh, hopefully maybe we'll have to make the build longer i'm not too sure then what we're gonna do is dig down right there and there up front here we're gonna place a chest and another chest like that then back here we're gonna place a hopper a hopper and then carpet right there what we're going to do is basically trap villagers on top of this carpet. So we're going to build blocks around the carpet block right there. Three blocks up just like this. And then over here, three blocks up too. So we end up with something that kind of looks like this right here. Basically, we're going to have a bunch of villagers piled on top of this carpet. We'll have a fence right there and then we'll stand over here. The villagers will see me, think I'm their hero because I have the hero of the village effect and try and throw things at me. When the villagers try and throw things at me, instead of going towards me, they'll actually end up hitting the fence and then they'll fall down into the hoppers. The hoppers will pick them up and put them inside of the chest right here so that I can get them later and I can basically just stand AFK while using this farm. This thing is an original 
original design, by the way. All right, so one final thing on the front here before we move over to the back. We're going to build some building blocks right across the top right there, just like that. Then we could actually build that down right there, too, if we wanted to. I think I'm going to leave it open like that. I feel like it being a little bit taller might look good. On the back of the build, this is what we have right now. Not too much. We're going to start by going into the corners right here and building up all the way, making this thing solid. Then we're going to grab our sign and place it on this block right here and then place some building blocks around this thing right there, just like that. Then we're going to go over here and build up with even more building blocks over here, even more building blocks. And then down here in the center on the ground, we're actually going to dig this out and replace this with a soul sand block. We're going to put a bubble column elevator to move the villagers up and into this thing right here. This is going to be the easiest way to do this. You could use a minecart, but minecarts are really, really annoying. So bubble column all the way. Now we're actually going to go back up on top of this thing and make it a little bit taller right here just to make sure villagers don't escape. If they escape, that would be definitely bad. Then we're going to finish off this back wall with fences. We put fences here instead of solid blocks so the villagers don't actually end up like getting caught in the block and then suffocating. And yeah, just, just general bad things happen. Happening. finally door uh, right there to hold water in right there now bubble column so you could use kelp here if you wanted to but uh personally i feel like it's like not very very tall so i don't really mind going one by one and just grabbing water and filling it in but if you want to make this process a little bit faster uh just grab some kelp and plant it on the soul sand and then break the kelp uh all you're gonna need is four water sources though so if you have water near not really a big deal all right so i think i got it i i think maybe let's see yep yep we go up and then we get moved over boom if we were a villager we'd be trapped in here now forever that's perfect that's exactly it and that's basically the entire farm now all we need to do is actually get villagers inside of this thing which is actually pretty easy i think <laughs> oh hopefully haven't tested it in survival now to get the villagers inside of this thing you're gonna want to have a couple different things on hand first things first couple extra workstations they will make your life easier so i'm thinking we'll put one there we have one right there then we'll probably have to put like another one right here we'll sail a villager over here you're also you're gonna want to have a way to move your villagers over i'm thinking boats for me boats are definitely going to be the best way because i mean we're literally right here it's all water and hey hey what are you doing what are you doing how you get out i don't like this you're not supposed to be out boy Matter of fact, let's see how we're doing. How are we doing good? Oh, we're doing good. There's a couple of villagers over here. Okay, perfect. And then there's one up there too. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Maybe we can get it out somehow. So a way to move your villagers over. You're definitely going to want to have that. Maybe mine carts uh, for me. Boats. Boats are definitely going to be the way to go. Uh, you. Can you get in this boat? Please. Please. I have good deal for you if you get in the boat. Oh, trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You trust me. Okay, good, 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 good. Right this way. We're going to go over this. No, okay, okay. Uh, we're going to go this way. Okay, fine. We're going to move the lantern. All right, right this way. There we go. There we go. It does not suspect a thing. Not that it would ever have to. I mean, don't get me wrong. This villager is going to live a very good life of giving me free things. It's pretty sweet. All right, so there's the villager. We drop you off. Go take the workstation. No, oh, it's too late for you to get a new job today. Okay, well, is it really? Is it really? It might be. Yeah, totally. We're going to have to wait for the next day to actually move this villager up the hill because this should try and take that workstation right there. It's like so close. All right, new day, new day. Cooperate, cooperate. cooperate. Take the job right there. Go up the hill, take that job. Mm, okay, yes, nice, nice, okay. Now we're going to take that away. There's another job up the hill. Go up the hill. Yes, aha, uh you're so smart. You're so smart. I like it. I like it. Okay, uh, now really quick, do we have one? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, so that goes away. There's one more in the building. Oh, you're perfect. You're literally perfect. You're so smart. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I don't know where it's going, but it has the job. This is perfect. Now, before we put the villager inside of this farm, there's actually one more thing that we need to do. And this thing is pretty important. So once we push the villager inside of this farm, it won't be able to reach its workstation. If it can't reach the workstation, it'll lose its job. And if it loses its job, becomes unemployed, then if we have the hero of the village effect, we're we're just going to get seeds. So like literally just wheat seeds. Not good. We want this villager to be a stone cutter. So all we have to do is take this trade one time. So 10 bricks right there. Fine. That's cool. Then we can take that away. Open this up. And this guy actually won't lose his job now you uh can go inside of the farm perfect just like that now the villager is going to be trapped over there forever and because we traded with the villager this villager is also going to be a stone mason villager forever we checked it out talked about it a little bit last episode but when the player has the hero of the village effect if there are villagers nearby those villagers will actually throw free things at the player 
is pretty sweet. The type of thing that the villager is going to want to throw at you is going to be dependent upon his job. So check this out. We're over on the Minecraft wiki. Here we have a chart. This chart will show us what we can get from each type of villager. So a baby villager will give us poppies. We don't really need that. Armor will give us chainmail stuff. It's cool, but we also don't really need that. Butcher, free food, which is nice, but we have pretty good food farm. Now the cartographer, we don't really have a good paper farm, so this could potentially be good on a large scale. Cleric, lapis, and redstone, which is actually pretty nice, not bad. Farmers will give us bread, cookies, and pumpkin pie, so more food. Fishermen give us fish, which is entirely pointless. Fledger villagers will give us any of these tips arrows which is actually pretty sweet leather worker as to be expected leather librarian only books unfortunately mason clay i like that one a lot we'll come back to that in a second though shepherd villagers throw wool toolsmith villagers throw stone tools trash tier weaponsmith villagers throw axes and eh, not very good axes and then finally nitwit or unemployed villagers wheat seeds overall at the end of the day i mean it's all free stuff so it's all going to be good but some stuff is definitely better my favorite one here is clay hands down for sure clay like literally free blocks of clay other ones that i kind of like here are the cartographer i like free paper and maps the cleric is pretty cool lapis and redstone and then honestly the shepherd isn't bad either any color of wool but once we have a sheep farm that would be pointless mason cleric cartographer mason cleric cartographer so i think inside of this farm we're gonna want to have probably mostly masons i i like clay the most but at the same time like i just said i like the idea of maps and i like the idea of like lapis and redstone that's pretty cool so villager number two villager number okay yeah that's not gonna work hey yeah yeah yeah, yeah. villager number two okay you come with me the second villager that we're gonna drop inside of this thing we're gonna try and make it be like a cartographer villager that last setup we're like flawless those so we're gonna do the same thing we'll, we'll trail some stone cutters over to here then the villager can jump up go inside uh then become a cartographer and it'll be perfect there you go go to work go to work you work on the hill let's go let's go oh let's go nice okay not so fast new job come with me come with me i have an even better job wait did i get the stone cutter i must have oh so quick so quick uh, but how about another one eh, right over here new stone cutter job new stone cutter job oh yes okay okay how about a cartographer you can you can go you can go my guy you got this come on yeah 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 yeah, yeah. nice nice okay no you're trapped you're trapped all right so what can we take here do we have any trades that i can do oh we do that's a little expensive but that's fine it's gonna work there we go you're locked in so then we can take that back and push you into the water all we have to do there you go you go up and you're gonna float over you're gonna fall down take a little bit of damage but you're good you're tough okay so now we have a mason in here and a cartographer that's cool hey you got out how'd you get out how are they getting out of here like this makes no sense we have a fence gate right there they, they can't bounce over it right maybe they can maybe that's what's happening how did you get out all right, so I have everything set up, but it's the evening. The next villager is going to be a cleric villager. We just have to wait till the morning. While I wait for the morning, I might as well make my life a little bit easier. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this wall up. That's going to go straight up. We're going to put a door right here and then a fence gate inside of there too. Maybe just a door for now. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but having a door and a fence gate is going to make it so much easier than I can easily like trap the villager in here. Uh, it'll, it'll be so much easier. All right, let's go. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Let's go up the hill. Nicely done. Flawlessly. Every single time. I like it. Next job right on up there. Hey, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're just going the long way. I see. I see. You're making me nervous, but I see. Oh, you don't even want that job. Okay. Hey, okay. So you're not going to be able to figure the door out. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, hey, no. Can you not? Can you come back in here? How about now? All right, so the villager has a mind of its own. It's like walking around right now, but let's see. Oh, we're going to be able to take that trade. Okay, perfect, perfect. Can you go back to your workplace, though, please? Can you go back inside? I wasn't quick enough. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. You're trapped. Okay, perfect. So next trade is going to be this one. We'll take that once. Your profession's locked in. All we need to do is send you up there. Boom. There we go. That's going to be the third villager in there that's perfect so with this farm that is quite literally it it's that easy all you need to do is just funnel villagers inside of the thing walk around to the front and then stand here with the hero of the village effect and get tons and tons of profit so three villagers are inside of this thing now we could have a maximum of 24 villagers because of entity cramming see this thing is going to kind of work like the cow croucher entity cramming is a thing which means after i think like 24 villagers if we add a 25th one one villager will be killed off so 24 is going to be your limit for this farm to get around that though obviously you could just build more tiles of this like you could have this sitting right here then you could build another one right there another one like over there you could have like a whole building
something with like a bunch of these things but honestly i think one tile is going to be good today so now let's finish up the build i'm also going to keep an eye on the villager breeder though for sure because i'd like to get at least a couple more villagers inside of this thing and then this villager right there i never traded with that villager so i think i'm going to break the villager out of this house it's not even meant to be in there anyways and put it inside of this thing too but let's see so the rest of the build I, i'm thinking that the roof will be this shape we'll, we'll start with uh with one then we'll go like diagonally up two then we'll go over like this and then we're going to be at the center so i think we'll just go over just like that so it's going to be kind of like a ah uh, a slope that's what it's gonna be <laughs> yeah um it's gonna be this shape right here i think it's gonna look pretty sweet uh right there just like up pretty simple like that i'll continue the brick wall up probably to the top maybe come in here with like maybe honestly a little bit of snow could look cool in the top like a like a white top area i'm not too sure i have already basically finished the inside which is just gonna be a spruce floor in here and then I can stand here in AFK and then on the other side, basically the exact same thing, but for moving villagers in. I think I also am going to do a little bit of work on the outside of this thing too, make it look a little bit better. I'm not too sure what to do with this wall. I'm kind of tempted to say just put like walls over it, but then the other part of me says just leave this alone because it's kind of cool looking. I don't think, uh, yeah, there are villagers there, but I don't know if I really want to put a window there. I don't think they need to see out. It's like tempting, you know? All right, so not done over here quite yet. I am getting there though, but let's try and speed run this really quick. So villager number one, there you go. Okay, hey, come on, come on, come on. Why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? What was your thinking? No, let's try it again. Villager, let's go up the hill. No, what are you doing? What are they doing? What? Well, so much for speed run. This villager was the villager that was inside of the snow farm for the longest time. Um, I don't know what it's doing. All right, all right, this villager's up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go this way, this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, oh, you're skipping that one. You're going in, you're going in. Okay, perfect, perfect. No, I'm never quick enough. I'm never quick enough. All right, here we go. This villager's in here. All we need to do is take one trade. There we go. This is gonna be the fourth villager inside of this thing, Stone Mason. Let's go, let's go. Perfect, cool. Here's another one. Uh, you can go now, and then this boat, this can come too. All right, I actually don't know where this one is going. Does it see this workstation up here? Did you just go right for... Oh, you did. You just went away for that one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like it. I like it. But how about the one inside of the house? Yeah, okay, it's going. One trade down. There we go. And now you can go up to the water, up to the water, up to the water. Not me too. No. Meanwhile, this villager, 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 villager. I don't know where it went. Did it walk all the way around here? Yeah, it did. It did. Why are you trying to go to that job? You don't work here anymore. No, it doesn't exist. Give it up. It's gone. All right, you gave your job up. You should be able to do this now. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. What are you going for? Which one? No, 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 no. The villager is still trying to go for these workstations. Like, this is crazy. This is these villagers sometimes. Like, what are they even doing? All right, so it's not exactly a speed run anymore, but villager, you're going this way, this way, this way. Yeah, so close, so close. Come on, you can get inside of the building. Okay, there we go. The villager's inside of the building. We take the trade. There you go. Uh, up into the water not a speed run but it works episode 103 comment of the day waddles did you notice that waddler is almost broken yeah 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 good point if you say it like that yeah you you have a really good point my guy also i don't know if you just caught it there but the enchantments on this bow aren't exactly too hot like it's kind of crazy episode 103 and the bow has weight for it power five on breaking three infinity that's it yeah it's lacking caught lacking for sure i have to get a new bow like not even repair just get a new one i'm honestly thinking about maybe doing the tool episode soon where we get like better tools finish upgrading everything like that you know all that kind of stuff but the build more importantly today's build so check this out we're gonna go ahead and land like maybe right here good view look at all of the bamboo i planted a bunch of bamboo that looks pretty cool and then i have this worn out staircase you saw it a second ago but yeah it's worn out i, I wanted to give this build kind of like a like an old like almost an abandoned feel even though it's not right because because it's definitely not but yeah I, I don't know i figured with it being by the temple i i didn't need to make it like too like fancy and structured so 
yeah broken path that's not good uh the path over here is even more broken if we go back here we go into the back room which isn't much i left it pretty plain i can't really put blocks above the fences or the villagers could suffocate so yeah i, I kind of left it like this if i were to go out front we have this path that's like really really broken up in here tons of grass and just plants uh even more bamboo over here then the front of the building right here with the villagers inside of this thing now i i haven't gotten any new villagers inside of this thing since we last talked about it i i definitely have to get more the more villagers you have inside of this thing the better the rates are going to be if you have only like say like four villagers inside of the thing it, it's not going to be very efficient at all the hero the village effect is going to last for 40 minutes total which is great but during those 40 minutes, villagers won't constantly be throwing items. So if you can get more villagers inside of this thing, you will straight up just have more items when you're done AFKing at this thing, standing around it. So yeah, what I'm saying here is I still need to get more villagers inside of the thing, but I have at least a kind of a decent amount, I would say. I have another villager over here waiting to grow up. I, I could move it while it's a child, but it would be really annoying. So yep, basically just waiting for that villager to grow up. And then I didn't do anything with this villager yet either. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Now, uh, we're actually going to be done with the farm for today. And in, Instead of doing anything else with that thing, we're going to do one final thing. I, I had a comment about expanding the map. It was amazing. We're going to expand the map a little bit. Next episode, we're going to do a raid. And then after the raid, we're going to use the farm. So you're going to have to wait till then to see it in action. Sorry about that. I might get some more villagers inside of that farm off camera. I might not. I'll let you know next episode what happens. So it was pointed out that this map is a little bit too small looking. Like it, it's just not grand enough for this wall right here. Definitely agree. Hard agree for sure. So what we're going to do is grab this map. And we're, we're going to fly over to it. Uh, over here. Oh, I, I guess we're going to update it too. I didn't even think about that. But we're going to fly over here to this map. You are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what we're going to do is actually go past this map. So hold on. Let's land here. We're, we're going to walk past it. So like down here. That should definitely be good. Then we're going to update a new map. Boom. There we go. Then uh, we're going to fill this map in and then go back over this way. Make another and then one more. Next up, I'm going to need to get up on top of this thing, uh, make it a little bit taller, and then fit the three new maps in at the bottom of this thing. I think I forgot all my oak logs in the storage building, so that's great. All right, all right, so then all I need to do is readjust all of these maps up one block and then fill everything else in, so we end up with something that looks like this right here. Much more fitting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Much more fitting for this spot right here. It looks so good. Maps, maps are so amazing. That's going to do it for today's episode of The Guide, though. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. There's a like button. Visit it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should change that. 1000k, 1000k. Big thank you to my patrons, Ground Crazy Mate, Archangel. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you all for watching. It's been me, your boy. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.